Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Ish Kristen. Today, we're going to have a little post review and kit down of Wanna Play by Diamond Painting Fanatics. So, this is my, I believe, second finish of the year. I did finish it in January, uh, but yeah, I'm just getting around to, to doing this now because life. So, I really, really enjoyed this kit. It is super colorful number one which is you know usually my my go-to color <laughs> palette is colorful um the drills were really nice the grid spacing was really good um and this is only let me move this out of the way this is only a 40 by 40 canvas which we can do a quick little quick little measure and yes that is 40 by 40 um <clears throat> but I feel like the level of detail is is really good and I do think I didn't check because I was not paying attention but I do think you can choose other sizes if I, I might be wrong on that but I'm pretty sure you could choose like a 40 by 40 a 50 by 50 a 60 by 60 and obviously the smaller you get the less detail you're going to get um I purposely chose smaller canvases because I know I'm more likely to finish the smaller canvases than some of the mahusive, you know, 80 by 80 canvases. <laughs> so I purposely chose small and I don't feel like, I don't feel like it, it hurt the rendering or the detail or anything like that. I mean, yeah, maybe if I got it bigger, his face would have more detail, but I'm okay with that. I'm doing this for fun. I'm not doing it, you know, so I can enter it in the state fair to win a blue ribbon, you know, it's for fun. Uh, there were a lot of black ABs in this kit, and I have never used black ABs, uh, and I've heard good and bad things about them. I think in this kit it works, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, because it is so colorful. Um, I don't think black ABs would probably work well in a canvas with like, you know, a darker subject matter. So, you know, you got the, you know, the tortured looking girls with, you know, the you know, the cuts and the, you know, the sad faces and, you know, like ravens and, you know, fire and brimstone or whatever. Like, I don't think the black ABs would probably translate well to some of that kind of stuff. But in this, I don't think it, I don't think it took away from the canvas. I may have like, maybe not in the eyes, but again, it, it, it's good. I like it. It was very, very good. I did not put washi tape around the outside, which is my bad. Um, so there is some hair and some fur and my cat decided because I left plastic on it for three seconds while I went downstairs to help my mom with something. Uh, he decided that the plastic was just too irresistible and he needed to chew on it. He did actually go through the canvas into some of the, uh, glue areas, but you can't tell, uh, on here, luckily. Um, and there weren't drills on it when he chewed through it, obviously. Um, that would have been a little more alarming. <laughs> but that's okay. But yeah, all this fuzz, that's all me. Because, like, look at what I'm wearing. I mean, good God. <clears throat> so, yeah, the only, the only thing, like, the only criticism, I guess, I have is that there was a lot of Black AB trash. So, I'm going to kind of... I hope I can show you guys, but so this was my trash for this kit. And so it's 40 by 40 kit. I don't feel like it was an abnormally large amount of trash. I mean, with resin drills, you know, you're going to get the, the ones that have the curved bottoms that don't, you know, that won't lay flat properly. Um, and I am super picky about which drills I use just because, you know, most companies give you more. Um, and if I do run out of anything, technically I have spares. Uh, I don't have a bunch of resin spares, but I do have, you know, spares from some of my resin kits. But I would say the black was definitely the, the most trash laden color by far. And I did see a video um, where I think, I think her name's Cindy, the owner of Diamond Painting Fanatics, did say that they're changing suppliers. Um, I'm not sure for the canvases and the drills or both or just one of them. Um, 
So, you know, I don't know if, if, if that's just, you know, a problem. I'm sure it's got to be hard finding good, affordable <laughs> drills. Because, um, yeah, I mean, your drills literally can make or break your project. But overall, I did not have any, like, popping, no real instances of gapping. Um, the, the areas with the ABs are a little tight, but usually ABs that, you know, that coating they put on them can just add just the slightest amount of, of bulk to the AB, which I've heard, you know, so some, there are a few areas in here where I've had to push them down a few times, but nothing life, life shattering by any means. So yeah, that is want to play. I would definitely, definitely recommend uh, Diamond Painting Fanatics. Um, I believe it is, I think they are UK based. I don't know. Again, I should have looked, but you know, I'm not on top of things today. So definitely, definitely recommend. And they have lots of different kinds of art as well. So depending on what your, you know, preferred genre is, I think you would be able to find something that you would like. <clears throat> so let's get these diamonds put away yes yeah, so yeah you can see the only one and i always highlight or underline ones that are overly trashy just like in case i'm worried that i might run out of diamonds uh but the blackie bee was the only one that i they underlined so i consider that a win so let me get my boxes i have six boxes for my square drills it is ridiculous um yeah I'm gonna have to start doing something with these bears. So I'm gonna put that there. <clears throat> and I probably should have put these in number order. I always say that and then I completely forget. So we're gonna put all the 3000s over there. And then we have three seven, you can't see that, but that's okay. I'll bring you closer when we actually get, get to that point. Um, I have one more art dot putting away video to make. That is the, the final, the final countdown art dot video. Oh my gosh. I am so ready to be done with that. I did not expect it to create um, six boxes for my squares. I was thinking four, maybe five, but not six. I have purchased a few small patterns, um, cross stitch patterns that I want to try out and to use up some of the art dot spares. They're not my, they're not my favorite diamonds. I gotta say, um, they are not the most consistent in size and they are dirty. They are, I've never had dirty diamonds. <laughs> sounds sounds like a song dirty diamonds but uh yeah these like they rip the the sticky off of glue dots within minutes um so definitely i would probably wash them before i use them the project that i'm currently using a bunch of them for it has 90 something colors and i really don't want to wash 90 containers worth of diamonds so i'm just gonna kind of have to grin and bear that. Uh, but if I do a little conversion project or something, I would definitely wash them because it's just maddening. All right, let's see what, let's see, we're gonna push these three, 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 I just keep saying the word number three, what, why? Um, the ones that have four numbers, the three thousands, that's what I was trying to get at guys. Oh, I need my ruler. I need my ruler. All right. So I hope everybody is having, is having a, a decent day, you know, maybe it's not a good day, but you know, I hope it's decent. <laughs> Let me know how you are. And if you need Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? See, look at, I'm just like talking. I'm not even paying attention. These are the art dot ones because they say AD on them. AD for art dot. Uh, so I don't want to put the resin dot, the resin dots with the art dot, the resin drills with the art dot ones, because I want to keep the resin drills with the resin drills. 
Oof. Oh my gosh, I'm already I'm already tipping things over. That is the one thing about these these uh, these bigger Tic Tac containers that I don't know if I like. Um, it's kind of nice that they have such a wide mouth opening. Why did I just pour those in? Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, that was that was dumb. Um, I'm so I literally kid up a painting last night and I. I think my brain is still in take it from the baggie and put it into the container mode. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I should just delete that and start over. <laughs> but I'm not going to. Um, these containers are, I don't know, I like them, but I don't like them. Cause they're nice because like, yes, you can take that off and then you have a giant mouth opening. Um, but I also would, I would have them in the foam and I would pick them up by the top and sometimes I would pull the top just clear off and then almost spill them all over. Uh, so that's not good. I don't like that. Oh, I don't have this one yet. Nice. And this tray is one of my new trays. I got two trays from Yellow Dog Designs. Uh, the other tray I got is the, the one that has like the lid. What do they call it? like kind of like the spout, like the cover over the, the pour spout area, which is really nice when you're a messy pourer like me. Um, and this one is, I think it's called the ergonomic, the ergonomic tray. And I'll show you in a second. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with this. Those stickers are not coming off super nice and I don't have the, I don't have the marbles inside my head right now to try to figure that out. Uh, let me grab this one. <clears throat> um, so this one, you can have it formatted for like right hand or left hand. Because I'm left-handed, I usually take my tray and I shake it with my right hand. So it has these finger grips. And then this is kind of like a wavy, you know, to maybe, you know, depending on how you, depending on how you hold it, like, oh, like that. Oh, yeah. That. So I haven't even used it yet. I just got it. And it does have a little spout which is nice. Um, yeah, but I am really liking their trays. I've seen them all over the internet. And so I finally was like, okay, I'll order some. And I am pleased. And they are Canadian. Um, so if you're in Canada and I don't know if shipping is more to send to like the U.S. versus Canada. I don't understand shipping, guys. I really don't. Okay, that is it for this box. Box number one. Excuse me, cat. He's just sitting here. I don't know what his deal is. There's that. So here's box number two. So we have 452. Oh yes, and I was going to mention while I'm while I'm talking. If you are interested in getting your very own Pippi the Crafty Peep sticker, I have a Google Doc listed in the description box and all you need to do is fill it out Ooh, I probably should have looked to make sure that was similar color well too late now <laughs> I'm not super picky about that guys I mean if it's really different like I don't know that I may have actually put in a different thing but it's too late now so whatever um, I have the Google Doc so if you are interested you just have to put in your information there's a few things that are required like you know obviously your address and stuff um, and then I do ask for your email just in case I have a question about your address or I, I screw it up and I, I write the wrong one or, you know, something. <laughs> but other than that, I'm not going to do anything with your, with your info, I promise. All right, we're just going to, nope, nope, I'm going to put you back in here. I will scrub that off later. That is, that is the later problem. That is not, or not right not right now problem. So what are you guys working on? Any events in the, the future that you're going to participate in? So far, I only have one, one event, and that is Mermaids and Magic, which is in March. Um, other than that, I do not have anything planned. I kind of feel like after March, I'm going to 
have to tighten up on some of my whips because I have, right now I have three decent sized square whips. I have one little round budget kit. Uh, and then if I count the Mermaids in Magic canvas, which I'm not because it hasn't started yet and I haven't started that canvas. So I'm ignoring it in my brain until March. But once March hits, then yes, that will become a problem because then I will have another one. So I'm really hoping I can finish something uh, before March so I don't feel as bogged down. And now my cat is shoving his mouse back under the refrigerator. I just fished it out for him. Oh, goodness. Naughty little kitties. I know I'm not the only one who has cats that, that think that we're just... We just exist basically so we can grab their, their grab their belongings, scoop their their waist, and feed them. I had the weirdest like I could not sleep last night. It was super windy here. And if you're new here, I live in Washington. Um and it was super windy and uh, I kept hearing this noise. And it didn't sound like it was on the outside of the house. It sounded like it was coming from the bathroom, which is on the other side of our of our bedroom. And it sounded like somebody was kind of pushing on one of the, oh, I just broke my ruler. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to wiggle the drills back and forth in there. And I went, oh, wow. Okay. I hope I don't cut myself on that. <sighs> wow. Keeping it classy. <laughs> Um, anyways, <laughs> I kept hearing this noise and I sounded like it was on the other side of our, our bedroom wall where the bathroom is. It sounded like somebody was pushing on the mirror and kind of making it like shake against the wall. <clears throat> but like, I know that that's not happening because it, no, nobody's doing that. Um, but then of course my fear is, oh my gosh, what if there's mice in the wall? You know, cause it's an old house and we live on, you know, five acres and there's lots of fields and stuff. And so then I'm sitting there like, you know, my imagination is just going like it does. And I have a hard enough time falling asleep anyways. And so I'm like, okay, what, you know, okay. So I'm trying to like not think about it. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go to sleep, right? I can do this. I'm a big girl. I can go to sleep. But every time I was almost asleep, the noise would happen and it would jolt me. You know, like my whole body would just kind of like, oh, like st get startled, I guess is the right word. And I'm just getting so frustrated and I'm like, oh, I just want to go to sleep because then you, you know, you start playing that the countdown mode, right? Because like, you know, you have to get up at, you know, for me, it's 6 a.m. So I got to get up at 6 a.m. And so you're looking at the clock and you're going, okay, well, now it's, it's, it's midnight. So... The most sleep that I'm going to be able to get is six hours, you know, and then you look at the clock again and you're like, well, now it's 1230. So now the most sleep I'm going to get is, you know, five and a half hours. And so then you just psych yourself up into that, you know, panicked mode of I'm basically not going to get any sleep at all at this point. <clears throat> and so finally, I, my husband was downstairs watching TV or something. And I texted him and I'm like, I don't know what this noise is and it's driving me insane. And so he reminded me that um, sometimes when it's windy and it hasn't been this windy in a while. So I tend to forget, you know, and we have, you know, because our house is older and the previous owners had, you know, like a satellite dish. And, you know, then when they put cable in the house, they didn't like put it in properly. They just kind of poked holes in the wall outside of the house and, you know, fed the cable from one bedroom into the other bedroom. And so there's a lot of like dead wires outside that are kind of, I guess, against the house. And so if it's really windy or the wind is just blowing, you know, just the right way, uh, you know, it flops against the house. And he's like, that's what it is. That's what it is every time. And I'm like, no, no, this is totally different. And he's like, no, no, it's not totally different. You say it's totally different every time, but it's actually not. So, 
you know, then I got to argue with him because then I kind of think he's right, but I don't want him to think that he's right. So, yeah. <clears throat> I think I finally went to bed around one, which is not fun. Okay, so this right here, static on these drills. I did not encounter static on these drills while I was doing the painting until the very, very last row, maybe. And then I don't know if something happened with our weather, but they got so staticky. And I have never had that happen before. Have you guys ever had that happen before where you're finishing a painting and like new static develops? I was, I was shooketh, guys. I was the shooketh. It was very confusing very 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 confusing because I'm like what the heck is going on like I think like this look at that I mean it is it is just stuck on there and I mean I and I had the dryer sheets in them the whole time and I kind of forgot about it until <laughs> right now obviously and I was like oh my gosh I hope I you know I mean I want to keep the drills because they're good drills you know but if they're like permanently static-fied. No, maybe I don't want to use them <laughs> in the future because, you know, nobody's got time for static. I I just kitted up my Mermaids and Magic canvas and I bought static art, guys. I bought it. I was so proud of myself. I remembered it at the grocery store and I was feeling like all adulty, like, look at me, I'm remembering things. And... Then when I sat down, um, excuse me, cat, you guys did not see that dangerous maneuver he just pulled. Um, I sat down and I'm looking at the baggies and I'm like, oh my gosh, they have static. And I had already like gotten all my, you know, all my filming stuff out and my, you know, my, my kid up stuff and all that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I literally would have to, to move my lights, to move my camera mount, to basically untuck myself from my my little nook area where I'm sitting I'm like okay how badly do I not want to deal with the static right and I'm like it won't be that bad no it was it was bad so next time I've got I'm gonna have to put a, a note on my little lunch box that says don't forget the static guard because the static guard won't fit in my little my little kidding up kidding down lunch box sadly and then I'm going to have to Google how to use static guard for the drills because people have told me what to do, but I don't actually remember it yet. These ones, this light pink one was atrocious when I was trying to do the last little section. It, there was a few, like they were literally, like I poured them into the tray and they were just pew, bouncing out of the tray. Never, 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 never had that. I mean... It's like, I guess this is just a problem that we're just going to have to deal with because we want, you know, superior quality diamonds that we're just going to have to suffer through the static. Hello, did you lose your mouse? Yes. You guys can't see him. He's over. He's over here. You want to say hi? No, you're just going to be antisocial and put your butt near my soda. Gross. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Okay. I don't know what would you like what's what's the ideal solution like would you rather have like crappier drills that don't have static or would you have rather have good drills that have static that is a question for the ages <clears throat> I'm not sure <laughs> I mean I've tried to do I've tried to do a painting with crappy square drills and that did not go well so I don't know and I do have, I even have like, I have, um, what do you call it? I have two paintings uh, from Pam Diamond Painting that I really want to open and check out, but I'm kind of afraid to because then I'm going to want to kit them up and then I'm going to want to work on them. So I feel like I need to finish something before I'm allowed to do that. Uh, but I thought their diamonds were resin. And it turns out that they are acrylic, 
So I'm a little worried, I gotta say. Um, they are offering resin drills now. You can for like a different, like I think it's a little bit more money. Um, you know, which is hard because when you're ordering from a small business, it's already gonna cost more than, you know, like a, a big, bigger company. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm going with an open mind that, you know, maybe these square acrylic drills will be good I hope so because you know it wasn't you know it wasn't like buying from a budget company you know I mean and I'm glad that the companies like that they you know they do pay their their artists and stuff because I do feel like that is important so we will see it will be an it will be an adventure together guys sharing is caring so we will share our information because we here. I can see why I broke the ruler pushing them like that. These diamonds are packed so tight in here, but I don't know what else to do. Otherwise I'm gonna, well, I don't, box number six is not completely full, but I still have 50, 50 colors left to do for the art dots. So yeah, maybe I can maneuver things and give things a little bit more space. Um, but I did try to kind of loosely put them in there, but I don't know. Never again would I, would I do that. Never, never, never again. Although if I ever did order like a bunch of drills, like a thousand of each color, let's say, <clears throat> number one, I would make sure they're resin. And I would hope maybe if I ordered them from a specific place, and they came in baggies, like, you know, they came in a baggie like this and they were already labeled with a sticker that maybe I could just stick them directly into my, my spares. And so not have to put, take them out of their bag to put them in one of my bags, you know what I mean? Because the art dots, they're in those, you know, the little plastic, you know, bags like the Diamond Art Club bags. And so like those would not fit nicely in the, the slots. I don't know if companies do that. I'm sure somebody has spare drills and in baggies already. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not in the market right now for more spare drills. So I'll let you know if I decide to, to go that route. But the next time I order drills, it probably will just be, you know, for a different conversion project. <clears throat> I did buy, I did buy my first heaven and earth pattern. I did post it in my Facebook group. Uh, if you have not joined my Facebook group, you should. It's a great group of people who are funny and amazing and supportive. Uh, this link will be in the description box below. Um, and it's funny because people are like, oh my gosh, what size canvases are you buying? And it's like, yeah, no, I cannot be buying anything for these right now because I still have two conversion projects that I have started that I have not finished. So no, no enabling guys, seriously. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love to, I love to like plan that kind of stuff out and be like, okay, I need to order these canvases and this sizes and I need to, you know, round all the drills up and, and make a spreadsheet. Like I, I, I like doing that kind of stuff, um, but I don't feel like I probably should be doing that right now. Yeah, I need to finish some of the some of the projects I already have started because I have so many that I want to start. But isn't that just what we do as crafters? Is it they say part of the fun is just like buying all the supplies for all the things that you want to make? You know, it's like a separate, it's a separate hobby. It's the collecting of the supplies. It's not the right color, yeah, okay. It's, that's half the fun. But I really would like to try to get a few more diamond paintings done before I purchase more. I see that, but you know, then sometimes you see something and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. So I'm trying not to even look. I'm gonna end up tipping this over. That seems like a really dumb idea. I'm trying not to even look, like kind of not going onto, you know, the Diamond Art Club Facebook page and 
just kind of, you know, staying in my own lane. Like, la, 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 la. <laughs> I have enough paintings already that I should be working on. I don't know how many I have, but I have enough. I mean, that doesn't mean I don't want more, obviously, but I'm trying to be responsible, guys. I'm trying. I have to go meet with our financial, like, person, investment person this next week. And I'm, like, sitting there going, oh, my gosh. If she goes and, like, looks through my credit card statements and my, my bank account and, like, sees where I'm spending my money. I mean, granted, she's. You know, she just wants to make sure we have enough money for retirement, but then I feel like, I feel like, um, what is it? Like, you know, when, when you're a kid and you do something and your parents are like, I'm not mad at you. I'm just disappointed. I feel like that's what it's going to be like, <laughs> where it's like, you're not supposed to be spending money on X, Y, Z. Or I thought you were going to cut down on spending money on X, Y, Z. And, you know, all the justifications in the world, you know, I know aren't, are going to work. Because, like, you know, her main concern is, like, you need to make sure you can afford yourself when you get old and crusty and dusty. And, you know, you're not working. So, yeah. Which, you know, is a good, is a good thing to worry about. Um, but, you know, I still have that mentality of, like, that's a later problem. <laughs> Like, I don't need to worry about that right now, but it's like, yeah, I am 40. Um, and you know, as, as much as my husband, uh, <laughs> doesn't, you know, he, 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 I don't think he'll ever be able to be fully retired. Honestly, he's one of those people who it's like, he doesn't know what to do with himself when he has free time. So he probably will have some kind of like part-time job. And honestly, I probably need him to have a part-time job because he's going to annoy the, you know, what out of me. So he will need to leave the house. Otherwise I will have to bury him in the backyard. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna murder my husband. Please don't don't come for me. I don't need to be I don't need to be canceled or tell me I'm heartless and whatever. I've been I've been told if I'm a few things, so definitely interesting. Definitely interesting, I will say. <laughs> okay. Oh I can tell I haven't done these these art dots over here because there's like no 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 diamonds in those ones so this is the last this is technically well I have one more box but I have all the special drills in that one because I have a feeling this one will get filled up this is box number five and I think when I start doing the last set of art dots that this one is going to be getting a little chunkified and it will have to spill into box number six but right now I think box number six just has the special drills and the, the rest of the art dot baggies and those kinds of, those kinds of things. But it would be amazing if I could keep it to five, but there's, there's no way that's going to happen. Okay. I missed 3809. That's fine. I knew they weren't in order. So, but... Do, do, do. Three. I keep forgetting to put the ruler in. Not really helpful. That's the whole purpose of the ruler is to help me find where, where the bag goes so I'm not sitting there looking around. Okay, we have a few more left. Three, eight, four, three. Three, eight. Come on. Where? Three, eight. Oh, oh, I guess I do have some in box number six. Well, there we go. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, this one is, yeah, this one is definitely not full, but that one will get cleaned up and organized when we get to the last, the last section. And I'm kind of putting that one off because I just don't want to do it. Like, I want to be done with it, but it will be nice to, to celebrate 
the the, the drills have been put away. Maybe I'll reward myself by buying myself something expensive. <laughs> My husband be like, no, oh man, see, I forgot one. Mm. That's on the other one. So it's fine. That's why I'm supposed to put them in order. I know that. Doesn't mean I'm gonna do it, but three, eight, six, five. All right. Okay, three, eight, six, five. And okay, we will put the special ones away. Where? Okay. Move you out of the way. You need to go in box number five. You are broken. You are a tray. So there are five ABs right here. And if you are new here, I just group my ABs by similar colors. I don't separate them by like, you know, Diamond Art Club, Dreamer Designs, Diamond Painting Fanatics, Bella Art Diamonds. Like I don't separate them by, by brand or by maker. Um, Cause I just, yeah, I'm like, I don't got time for that. <laughs> I feel like ABs are close enough and I've never actually used them for any like, you know, special project or, so yeah, I don't know. I do have my fairy dust diamonds, I will say that. They are separated and labeled just because I only have a few. Okay, so that's a light pink AB. I have, there's a purple, so we need, and I probably should have maybe not mixed the dark purple and the light purple, but I did and I'm not gonna spend time picking them apart because I'm lazy. And having this organized that nitpicky and meticulously is not, that's not high on my priority list. So this is good enough for me. Those are, I came in the art dot thing. It's like a little sample pack. I actually had quite a few. There was like a, like a jelly, jelly ones or jelly glitter. I don't even really know what it is. And then these little crystals and then I don't know. Oh, resin sample. Oh, that's interesting that it came with a resin sample, but I've never seen R dot resin drills. And then, oh yeah, these were from my Add More Zest Advent calendar. I know I don't have a bag for black EBs, so I will put those in their own bag. Let's see, put you over there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I would use those containers again. I'm kind of on the fence, honestly. They're not, they're not bad. It's just, unless you take the lid all the way off, for me, again, for me, they, I don't feel like they pour, like you can't really pour your tray back into the container very nicely. Like, just look at this. Like, it's not, it's not that big of an opening. And so like this doesn't fit in that tray. So you're, every time I would do that, I would have a lot of spillage. And I don't want spillage. Okay, these two blues are so similar. I'm just gonna mix them. So look away if that kind of thing bothers you. Go clutch your pearls somewhere else, guys. Okay, here's one more bag. Okay, and this is for Mr. Black. Yeah, you know, this, like I had, I was very glad that there was a lot of black ABs in that kit uh, because I did pull out a lot of um, trash ones. So, but I did not run out of anything. So, you know, I consider that a win. As long as I don't run out. I mean, obviously I want like more leftover quality diamonds, like that are resin and stuff because, you know, I want to hoard them and potentially use them later on for a project. But, uh, you know, that's also not really cost efficient for all the companies to be sending you like 50% extra diamonds because then your kits would cost more. And then we would complain about it. 
because we'll be like, oh my gosh, why are we paying so much more for these diamond painting kits? And it's like, well, because you want like, you know, double the diamonds, baby, basically. And then some people just throw them away because they don't, you know, they don't want to save them. They don't want to have spares or, I mean, because a lot of, you know, companies do send you spares or they send, not, they don't send you spares. They send you extras if you run out or you spill or whatever. So, you know, if you don't want to be extra like this and have um, six photo boxes full of diamonds, then that might be the, the right way to go for you. But that is, that is the painting. I will clean off all that sticker gunk later. Uh, probably right before I want to use those containers again because I'm lazy. Let's not spill that. So that is Wanna Play. We have post reviewed it. We have kitted it down. And now it will go somewhere. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't really know what to do with my diamond paintings, guys. What do you do? You just stick them in a portfolio and like move on and you know work on new stuff. I feel like if I try to hang everything up on my walls, my house is going to look a little like, I don't know. I don't even know what it would look like. I mean, it's not that it looked bad. I just, it's like, I don't, some of them, I don't know if I want them on my walls, but I just enjoy doing them. So I don't know if people like decide, you know, like, oh, I really like that. Then, you know, I've, I've given some away. Cause I'm like, no, take it please. Cause that's one less like rolled up thing that I, you know, need to try to find a home for or then worry about it, you know, getting ruined or crushed or stepped on or chewed on. Um, I'm looking at you over there, Sharky. Uh, so yeah, so that is it. If you have not, please consider liking, subscribing, hearting, farting, doing all the things. I very, very much appreciate it. And if you have any questions or anything, leave a comment, join the Facebook group, request a sticker, and have an amazing day, guys. Big awkward hugs to you all. I very much appreciate all of you guys so much. You don't even realize it because I'm not good with the words when it comes to, to sappy emotional stuff. But I very much appreciate all of your, your comments and like, you know, just like, you know, oh, thank you. Or you say something like, you know, it you know, like I was having a bad day and, you know, I got to zone out and just, you know, listen to you like ramble and bitch and moan about your random stuff. Like, you know, I felt like I was crafting with a friend, like seriously, that is why I do this. Um, not just because I like to talk. Well, I mean, I do like to talk, but, but still there's a reason for it. So again, thank you. I'm rambling. So we will see each other again very, very soon. Big awkward hugs again. Cause I think I already said that. Bye guys.